Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to explain Power Apps repeating table with a new form and saving those data to both single and multiple SharePoint list. Now, before getting to the implementation, let me introduce myself. I am Harita working as a Power Platform Consultant. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe for more tutorials on Power Apps. Now, let's get into the implementation. In this application, I already created the Power Apps repeating table along with the form controller. And this form allows the employees to submit the travel request. So for one travel request to submit multiple flight and family details, I created the Power Apps repeating table. If you are new to creating Power Apps repeating table, follow the link in the description box below. But in this video, I will just quickly show you the steps to create the Power Apps repeating table and we will mainly discuss about saving these, these Power Apps form and repeating tables data to both single and multiple SharePoint lists. So before explaining the code, let me show you the SharePoint list first. Here is the SharePoint list named employee travel request details which will stores the Power Apps form detail and these flight and family details repeating tables data will be stored in the different different SharePoint list like this flight details will be stored in this list and family details repeating tables data will be stored in this list. Now let's get into the implementation. The first thing we need to do is um, we need to connect those SharePoint list in this data section and uh, you no need to confuse about this. Uh, I added uh, all these data sources for uh, for my application. Here you can see I took scrollable screen because um, here the form and multiple repeating tables are there right. The height is not enough for all these things so I took the scrollable screen. Uh, you can take that scrollable screen from this uh, place new screen drop down. Here you can see that scrollable screen. When we add this one it will contains on canvas object. I will show you one quick demo for you and here you can see this screen is containing this canvas object and this label and rectangle for the heading and within this canvas object one data card will be present. So whatever we want to add in this scrollable screen we can add within the data card and we can also increase this height of this data card as much as we want. So in this screen you can see I have added on a container within this data card. Why I took this container means within the data card we are also in inserting this edit form control right. So, this form control we cannot add within the data card directly but we can add it within the container. So, that's why I took this container. So, what you have to do is first add the container and then within this container we, we can add that uh, edit form control. Now, for this uh, data source property provide that SharePoint list name. Now, let's see the steps for uh, creating repeating tables for both uh, flight and family details. As you can see, I took one uh, plus icon here and I have provided this this code in its on select property and you no need to worry about the code in the description box below providing a link for this one so here you can see i am creating one empty collection for the flight details so i took all the fields names with the blank values and for the serial number i am using this code so whenever we click on this one it will add a new record let me preview it once so that you can understand here see when i am clicking on this one one new record will be displaying so, in order to remove this one, when we click on this cancel button, it is removing that one. So, how to achieve this one, I will tell later. So, the collection we created in this on select property, copy this one and um, and then add one empty gallery control for the flight details and provide the collection name in its items property and uh, here you can see for the flight details uh, I need uh, input controls for the serial number flight flight from and flight to flight date and uh, flight ticket type so based on the data type I took the controls here for the serial number which is a number so I took that uh, text input controls for this uh, flight from flight to and for the flight date I took the date picker control and for the flight ticket type I took the drop down control so after adding each control add code like for each controls default property provide this item dot serial number type so here you can see for the flight from i took this item dot flight from and for flight to defaults property i am providing this item dot flight to and for the flight date also this item dot flight date and same for this um, flight ticket type for this uh, default property and uh, to fetch the SharePoint list choice values, I am using this choices function and within the choices function, we need to provide that SharePoint list name and 
dot that choice value name we need to provide so this way we can fetch those values into this drop down control and to remove the selected record we need to add this code in its on select property here i am using remove if power apps function for this function is taking the data source as that collection name that we created and the condition here is the serial number is equal to the this item dot serial number so which means whatever the record we are selecting if that number is equal to the serial number which is present in that uh, collection, collection flight, it will remove that one. So, this way we can also create another repeating table for the family details. Here also for the plus icon, for the plus icons on select property, I have provided this code. And here also I am creating one, one empty collection that is having all the columns names which are present in that uh, family details SharePoint list. So, after creating the collection, provide that collection in the galleries uh, items property. And I, as I said before, for the each control present in this gallery, provide that um, formula like uh, this item dot family relationship. Uh, whatever the field name is there, provide that name in its default property and and one more thing is uh, when we are taking any number fields um, that time for its format property provide a number instead of the text so i have explained uh, creating repeating tables and the form controls also right now we will see how to save uh, these two repeating tables data and uh, form data to multiple sharepoint list at a time here i also have the submit button in its unselect property you can see first i took the submit form function this function will submit the data that is present in the form controller after this one to submit the repeating tables data to the sharepoint list we are taking power apps um, for all function so in this for all function i am taking the family gallery data and uh, gallery dot all items so will fetch the data present in each record so after fetching those data we are by using this uh, patch function submitting that uh, this data to sharepoint list as you can see for the data source i am taking that uh, family details and in the default properties also we are taking that data source is same so for the serial number field i am taking the px serial number dot text and this one is the number so i am using the value function to convert the text into the number and then for the full name i am taking this control name txt full name dot text same for the family relation and the age and here in the repeating table you can see i am not showing the employee's name i mean by defaultly i am saving that employee name as the current user in the sharepoint list also so you can see we have this employee name as a person field so i am using this code to save the current user name to the person field present in the sharepoint list so for the display name i am using user dot full name user function dot full name for the mail user dot email so this code is same for the flight details here we are just changing the sharepoint list name and for each control whatever present in the gallery we are taking that control name and then we are saving that data so as you can see i will briefly explain for the serial number i am taking this control name and I am converting into number and for the flight from and flight to or the text input controls so I took directly text input control name dot text and for the flight date DTP flight date dot selected and for the choice value I am taking this drop down selected value so this way we can patch this day repeating tables uh, data after submitting all the details it will notify one message like your details submitted successfully with the notification type success now save the changes publish it once now I will submit one travel request along with this um, flight and family detail now i fill all the details let me submit this request here you can see the successful message came and now we will check the sharepoint list so the request has submitted for the employee travel request and we will see the family details see those three records present in that repeating table is present is stored and for the flight details also stored successfully i hope you understand how to save the power apps repeating tables along with the form to the multiple sharepoint list at a time now now I will show you how to save uh, the same thing. I am not going to change the form and repeating table. But um, how to save those data to the single SharePoint list. Here I have already done one example. Here you can see the family data and uh, flight details. I took the multi-line text field. So I can add those repeating tables data to this uh, multi-line text. And here you can also see each record I am storing in a new line for both the family data both for family data and flight details now let's get into the implementation for this one in the power apps application you can see i here also i took the scrollable screen and within the container i am adding this form control if you observe clearly i am only showing uh, 
three fields from the SharePoint list. And here we have five fields, right? Family data and flight details also there. But in the form control, I am not displaying those things. But I included uh, uh, those two fields also. And here you can see form controls data source. I am providing that uh, SharePoint list name travel authorization. This one travel authorization. And now create the Power Apps repeating table for both uh, family data and uh, flight details. Uh, as I said in the before. Now let's see the code on the submit buttons on select property here you can see i am creating a variable using this update context function this will temporarily store data within the screen only and uh, here you can see this new item string variable is containing data whatever we are uh, entering in the gallery family details which means the repeating table um, this is for the family data repeating table so whatever i am present uh, i am entering like the data present in each record uh, it is taking so by using the concatenate function what i am doing is uh, after each field i am separating with the comma so one record is completed then i am using this character of 10 two times uh, this will create one new line and here you can see this uh, the concatenate function will take uh, will collect all those data in a string format and that will be assigned to this uh, variable same thing i have done for this uh, flight details also here also i created uh, another variable named new item string underscore flight and here also for the concatenate function i am taking that gallery named uh, dal flight details dot all items so it will take all the i uh, all the data present in each record and uh, using this concatenate function i am concatenating all the values so after each field it is uh, separating with the comma so uh, when entire record is completed then uh, using this character of 10 two times uh, it will create one new line and now what i am doing is um, so this is one long uh, text variable we need to copy this uh, new item string variable and paste the variable in the family detail data card values default property same thing we need to we need to we also need to copy this uh, new item string hyphen flight uh, and we need to paste that one in the flight details um, data card values default property like as i pasted so what it, uh, like uh, while submitting the data by using the submit form function i am submitting this form right so simply uh, we are uh, giving that variable name over here will automatically submit this data to the sharepoint list and uh, at last you can see i am using the submit form function to submit that form details and after that uh, to notify one success message i am using this notify function and after submitting the form uh, to make the form as a new form i am using this new form function now save the changes and publish it once preview the app now i am going to request one uh, form now i am going to submit one new request. now i fill all the details um, let me submit this request you can see that uh, successful message now we will check the shape point list here also you can see for the family data i took th three records and for the flight details i took four records so that is saving in this format i hope you like this video and you understand uh, how to save uh, multiple repeating tables data and form data at a time to share point list um, single share point list and multiple share point list thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel